Hi, this is Eric Stromquist with Ken Smyers. We're back with your Control Trends Awards update, Countdown to Dallas. Hey, Kenny, our category today is Variable Frequency Drive. Who has the best variable frequency drives? Ooh, Eric, that's a hard one to say, but I can tell you we got five very good contenders. We really uh, do. Yeah, the first one, uh, well, Siemens. We'll start off with the Siemens VFD. It's a uh, universal VFD that can meet any applications as we know that the emphasis on VFDs is, is now at an all-time high because it is a true source of energy savings yeah in other words with pumps and fans those motors are they, they a VFD is, is a very essential part of your energy savings strategy oh absolutely absolutely and of course Siemens worldwide controls company you know the qualities there and I think the emphasis with Siemens as well as some of these others is making them easy to set up so Siemens for sure very strong candidate. Who we have next, Kenny? The second one is Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb uh, kind of set the standard early on in the VFD business. Uh, very high uh, emphasis on the engineering and the com the quality of components. And uh, they have all the, the bells and whistles you need with the VFD. And it's a great uh, VFD line. No, it really is. And I, th I think, you know, if we look at market share, my guess is ABB probably has the biggest market share there is. And that's um, a guess. I don't know that for sure. But ABB, to your point, has been around for a really long time. I and mean, most of our contractors have worked with ABB. It seems like the emphasis on ABB, a lot of it is, you know, you, you have startup companies that work with them. So you have a history. You have a track record with ABB. Um, and they're out there. So congratulations to ABB for making it. Kenny, I think one of the great things about the Control Trends Awards is, Hey, you don't handle ABB, we don't handle ABB. I don't know anybody in our industry dis distrib distributor-wise that does. So the fact that they got nominated, congratulations to our academy and congratulations to ABB. Well said. Um, the third candidate is the Yaskawa Z1000. And I think, as, as you said, uh, once the uh, world, uh, our, our HVAC world got smarter and knew the, VAC, the VFD was so important, uh, we saw uh, a a myriad of competition entered the markets, and Yaskawa was one of the big early winners. They came in, uh, they did go through distribution, and a very successful drive. Yeah, you know, some of the, the distributors that we know that are really successful, like Scott Cochran, Cochran Supply, he's a big Yaskawa guy, swears by him, thinks they're great. So, congratulations to Yaskawa. And who do we have next, Kenny? Uh, fourth on our list is Tico Westinghouse out of Texas. So, they're, uh, they're very close to the uh, Dallas site, and uh, They'll be well represented uh, at the Control Trends Awards, and uh, they also have a universal line. In other words, they go from the fractional horsepower VFDs up to the biggest, uh, and they have that incredible history of uh, the association of Westinghouse. Yeah, so so I think what makes Tico Westinghouse really a strong contender is the fact that, you know, not only do they make the drives, but they make the motors too. So exactly, a big understanding of how those work together. Uh, when we look at Tico, I, I, you know, I think that they're a quality drive that seems to be very, very price competitive, good technical support. And I can speak to this because we handle Tico. I think you do too, Kenny. I, yes, can't, do. I can't speak to the customer support with ABB or Yaskawa because we don't, but I hear they all have good technical support. Eric, it was a very good point. Uh, they're the only uh, VFD manufacturer that I'm aware of that gives a program to use their motors, an incentive. So they put the combo package together and then give you a, a lengthened warranty and service. Our last contestant, one we've sold, we both sold a bunch of, uh, Honeywell. The Honeywell Smart VFD. Uh, it probably has the, uh, a great marketing uh, launch, took that VFD and, and, and the competitive uh, pricing and the support. It's a great VFD. It's, uh, in fact, your Control Trends presentation on the 36 seconds. It's one of my Smart favorite videos. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, I think the deal that Honeywell seemed to really focus on, Kenny, was really getting the interface right. They do have an English language uh, keypad, so it's very intuitive uh, with literally five or six, answering five or six questions with the keypad, you can actually get a drive up and running, which is the video you're referring to. So Honeywell has really done a nice job with this drive, but uh, I tell you what, fierce competition all around. Uh, if any of you have had experience with any of these drives and want to put your two cents in, please do so in comments. Help educate the rest of our Control Trends community. And if you haven't registered to vote yet, it's not too late. Go to Control Trends, register to vote. We will send you a ballot. The ballots are going out the first part of January. The voting ends January 12th. So register to vote and vote. Okay, so there you have our nominees for the best variable frequency drive of the year. So, Kenny, what are we going to be looking at next time? 
Next up on the uh, Control Trends uh, Awards is going to be the best commercial product of the year. We'll see you again next time on Control Trends Awards Update, Road to Dallas.